you people after a long time i am going to share with you this diy project so the first thing is this is a really controversial <laughs> project for me usually you know i want to make over all old things and damage product in my way and with a minimum budget i usually take inspiration from pin interest but most of them are just my ideas but for this project i took inspiration from a piece of tile which is really beautiful and uh, i bought this from obi i really want to use this tile in one of my projects so i decided to make a coffee table with this tile but i made lots of mistakes in this project and what i planned for this table became disaster <laughs> After more than one month, I finally fixed it, and the outcome you can see now. So let's quickly jump to the main video, and hope you like this video. And if you like it, don't forget to like, comment, share, and please subscribe my channel. So let's get started. Hello. had this ikea white coffee table it's been 4 to 5 years and you can see this damage i don't know if you can see on camera or not so this is the beautiful piece of tile i bought from obi and the cost was 6 euro This is a wooden beads mat we had and I'm going to use this in this project. There are lots of double tapes on the back side. Obviously, I need to remove this. Before that, I spray painted it with two layers of golden colors. I separate them to cut the joining threads. I really love gold color. It's like a rich and gorgeous color to me. There was a time when I wear everything in gold color like my dresses, shoes, earrings and my brother used to tease me and call me golden. <laughs> Now you can imagine how much I love gold color. So coming back to the point now I had lots of gold biscuits I try to remove this double tape so I use hair dryer for that now you can remove the double tape easily I clean the table first one by one I try to make a pattern which will look good on that Then I made my first big mistake in this project. What I did is that I mentioned this table from IKEA and uh, the table has a very thick glossy layer on top and uh, you need to remove that before you do anything on top. I don't have any scrubbing machine to do that and with paper it is really difficult to remove that. I thought it won't be affect this project but uh, it did. Only for this mistake I ruined everything. <laughs> so remember this. Then I glued all the wooden beads and tile on the table. But the correct way is after removing glossy layer, you need to glue them with wood glue or any hard glue. Now I took POP 
plaster of Paris, mixed with glue and water and made a fine paste. Now just apply on the table. And with a wet sponge, remove all the excess POP. But make sure you do part by part because POP becomes quickly dry. I need to do more work to remove that. After rubbing excess POP, all my golden biscuits become wooden beads again. With that, I made my second mistake. Try to fix the edges so I use ceiling glue. Then after drying I use scrubbing paper to smooth edges. Then again I spray painted them gold and with that I made my third mistake because it looked really horrible. Yeah, after almost one month I didn't like the final result so I removed all the bits. I separated them into two parts and stored them. I will use them on my future project definitely. I cleaned them nicely then I decided to install contact paper. I already had these two types of contact paper uh, from my previous projects. So I installed them in this pattern. So these are self adhesive contact paper, so easy to work with. I glued one layer of golden wooden beads with wood glue. To protect the border, I used some clay and made a pattern and glued them with wood glue. color it with golden color and let it dry for 24 hours. The beautiful coffee table is ready finally. Now I am really happy with this result. This whole project is completed in 6 euro only. I purchased only the center tile and all other things I already had. If you want to buy something, you can buy. I will share all the product links on my description box. If you want, you can go through that. So, hope you like this video and if you like it, don't forget to like, comment, share and please subscribe my channel. You can follow me on my Instagram page. Link is on my description box. I will see you on my next video. Till then, bye.